Good day, sir. Hail. Good day, Greg. I have seen a lot of you this month. Yeah, it's been a, been, been a long month. Tell yeah. me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how scared are you to go online? I will go to work and then I will go and sit and read a book after this. I'm never going to the internet, to the dark web. I'm never getting a black hat or a white hat or anything again. I've learned about bad actors, um, which are not just Emmy winners. I've learned about so much. Uh, yeah, it, it's been an eye opener. I know. It would be a shame if you worked remotely, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we are on a week. We are the last one, which is the fifth one. The fifth one. The whole month is come and gone, and we are now cyber smart, I think. Well, yeah, and I, and I think this topic is, is going to be a good one. Uh, our topic is vacation and travel security tips. We've got Chuma coming in from uh, Marta. Hi, Chuma. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Greg? Good, good. Tell Hello, us a little Chuma. bit something about yourself. Okay, so I am a junior cybersecurity analyst for Armata. Uh, we, I take care of the MAMP cost implementation, the vulnerability management, and patch management for Armata. Okay, so so now we just got to go back and 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 are you are you a black hat or a white hat or a yellow hat? I'm and none, none of that, honestly. Okay. <laughs> just <laughs> just checking. Okay. <laughs> Right, we are going to talk vacation and travel security tips. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'm already scared enough to browse at home. Are you not going to scare me off going on holiday? Yes, I want to leave you where you are. You are never, never going on holiday again. So I think it brings up, Suhail, it brings up a good point. It's like we've spoken about work stuff. We've spoken about our our sort of cyber world that we live in, which is social media. But what happens when we actually do go to another country and, you know, we are just as vulnerable as we are there? Probably more, actually. Sure. I'm not the expert, though. Chuma, lead us away. Vacation and travel security tips. So we all take vacations or some of us do travel um, outside of the workplace to do business. So it's important to ensure that your files your devices are safe and secured whilst you move through the world so Chuma, one of the things when we travel i mean i'm sitting at home i'm i'm behind the vox firewall um i'm securing my own little network now i'm starting to travel right now i'm starting to piggyback off coffee shops that i've never worked before hotels that i've never worked before how have you got any tips on how i can make that experience safe because i can't stay at home. I mean, I have to mm -hmm. go and connect to their open Wi-Fi's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that one is the most important one is avoid using public Wi-Fi. So ensure that you use a VPN when you use public Wi-Fi because that would cause so many issues because it's public. There's no security at all. So tell me, Chuma, I live overseas, okay? I have to come into SA. The f so traveling is very, very frequent. The first thing I do when I touch down in the new country is take on my phone, log on to the airport Wi-Fi and tell my friends and family, hello, I'm alive. Mm -hmm. Bad idea? Bad idea always. Mm. Do not use public Wi-Fi unless you have a VPN. That is the best advice I could give you when you're traveling using public Wi-Fi. So okay. define public Wi-Fi. Okay, public Wi-Fi is uh, when you connect to a device that has no uh, password or no encryption at all mm. so it's just open publicly okay oh. so like when i because i'd obviously travel up and down to joburg and, me, and if i go into the slow lounge um they give me a new password every day and i connect is is that a, is that a better option i think that would be a better option but always use a vpn i think that's the most important one especially with the because it's still public, even though it has a, a password. Um, you don't know what the hotel or the lounge would do with your information. So always using a VPN is always important. So that's my question is, what's the big danger? If I connect to your Wi-Fi, are you just going to see who my Facebook friends are? Or what's what's the what's so such a big risk about it? OK, so when you um, <coughs> connect using uh, the public Wi-Fi, right, you um, you can open your bank, your banking app, or you can uh, open your social media, which 
uh, you do have data on your social media. You do have data stored there, so mm. uh, hackers will be able to access your data freely. Um, and then obviously you said the VPN, um, would a free VPN work? Would, would one of those ones you download for free? No, I think it's better to have the one that you purchase then uh, because the free ones always have a backdoor um, policy oh. that you don't, that you're not aware of. So I think it's better to have a purchase one where you could read the whole um, policies and have a contract uh, from the from the company. Mm. I think that would be so better. I know, I know with Vox, I drastically underestimated our, our security. So I touched down in... Abu Dhabi with no, what's the word, no permissions. And then I wasn't even allowed to open my Outlook or Teams. Mm -hmm. It straight up shut me out. What mm -hmm. what sort of security measures can an organization have for to eliminate overseas risks and stuff? Okay, so we do have, right, the firewalls. And um, the firewalls does block um, geological IP addresses. So that would be part of the situation that you faced. Where Fox does have a, um, what is it called again? Sorry, the uh, a form where you do need to fill, it, fill in and give to your manager when you do travel overseas so that uh, Vox can give you access to Outlook and be able to use the SharePoint or any of the Vox mm. infrastructure. And tell me, is it just Wi-Fi that's a danger when you're overseas? What other threats are there? I think another threat would be is making sure your location um, application or services are switched off. Mm. Mm -hmm. So when it's not in use, make sure that it's uh, that you limit how, uh, how often you share your location where you are mm. while you're traveling. So that's the thing that comes up and it says, do you want to share now or only when you're using app or never? Okay. So I think it's better to use while using the app only, not always on. I think that would be better. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now I'm traveling with my family, right? And obviously I've got my kids with me. That's something I'm, and, and, and I'm going to look at this from a personal point of view, not from a Vox point of view, because one of the things that we have enjoyed about the last month is always going back to that looking after the staff. So I'm traveling with my family. Have you got any security tips for my family? We don't have work computers with us. We've just got our phones. We've just, we're on a holiday. What tips mm -hmm. have you got for that? I think it would be connected to the last week's um, newsletter where it's sharing your information on social media, where you are, well, what you're doing. It's very important to not do that unless, not even unless, when you uh, get home uh, in South Africa where you, or mm. where you are and not share where you currently are because people would know that you're not at your home, which you, which could result to a theft. Yes. Or, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's a very good angle. A lot Didn't of people think about just... that, eh? Yeah, people who have stolen your information now see that you're taking pictures next to the Eiffel Tower. They know that you're, you're not in sending out a signal. My yeah. house, house is empty. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know that. I know that a few years ago there was a big movement um, not to take pictures of rhinos in the Kruger Park with mm -hmm. your geolocations on because then you were giving out the position of the rhino and obviously for poachers, mm -hmm. that type of thing. I suppose it goes the same way when you're taking pictures of your kids standing at some fountain in, in Italy. You mm -hmm. know, you're literally telling the predators where they are. That is true. Yeah. So yeah. so then would a, would a good sort of thing go on your holiday, take all your pictures, do everything, and if you want to put them on Facebook, rather do it once you're back at home again, then upload everything. That I agree with wholeheartedly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it. The internet is a dangerous place, Greg. Like I remember in in college, we were a guy for an assignment. He picked five random students in our year and he tracked them for a full year. And by the end of the year, he handed everyone a folder saying where they went, where they stayed, what they ate, where they went on holiday, what their dogs' names were. And literally, if you have a vested interest in someone, be careful. Mm -hmm. Be very careful. 
Yeah, look, <laughs> it's a weird thing. I mean, I've got an app on my phone that I pay for, like, I don't know, I think it's like I don't know, 300 rand a year or something that tracks airplanes. So I can track the South African flights as they leave and take off. Um, and I got onto that years ago when we had induction, when we used to fly people around, that I could see when the staff's planes left and when they landed and all of that. And now, I mean, it's so great when my dad says to me, he's going to Joburg, I can see his flight. When I travel, they can see my flights. I mean, there's like so much available and it's just that information is just there. Mm. Yeah. Well, Tuma, mm. thank you very much for chatting to us. Um, I know that that you've you, you you've got a much different job, pen testing and all of those type of things. I've learned so much about it. But thanks for having a chat to us about the security. I, I really didn't think about that location. That that is, you know, and I just see all my mates are like, oh, I'm here, I'm there. And instead of me mm -hmm. getting jealous now, I can now think, yeah, somebody's going to take you, hey? Yeah, all these people flexing on their flights. Mm -hmm. I'm now <laughs> laughing inside. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Chuma. Right, thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure, Chuma. And I will now not go on holiday anymore, thanks. <laughs> so I suppose we move to the places we want to be, so we'll just stay at home, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, thanks very much. Suhail, thank you for this month. Um, we have learned so much. Uh, we've had some ups and downs and some scares, but um, yeah. Uh, At least we're smarter now, Greg. Well, yeah, and I now have two-factor two authentication on my phone. I now I'm going to go and tell my kids that there are a lot of post pictures of them when they're on the beach with mm -hmm. geotags. We've I've listened to Donald Trump um, speak about South Africa on a I have deep, what are called deep on fake? multiple airports and multiple malls. No more happening. Yeah. And, and here I thought when you go to the airport, you get free Wi-Fi. You can download, you know, like a movie or something for free. But mm -hmm. actually, it's yeah. Okay. But cool. Thank you very much, well, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, and uh, look out for something new coming from Sir Hal and I later on. Very, very soon. Watch this space. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye. Okay.